Okay, for example, we want to change the size of these classes and pattern to the medium, large, x large, and then uh, we want to <clears throat> automatically or manually uh, move between them. It's very easy. Uh, first, uh, we begin with that. We want to create a size for it. We have a special tab for this work. Here is a grading. We need a grading. We need first add here. Here we have to use edit grading or edit curvature if you want. Just do here. Here. We have to say this is a manual. This is an auto grading. This is a manual. If you want to edit the curve, I explain. The tool is here. So I have to active. First, we have to first we have to add a grading here. Great. Click here. Add, for example, three size. This is size medium. You can uh, name it medium, size large, and size x large. Here you can name any name that you want. And we have to assign this group to the all the pattern that we want to select first we have to select the grading tool edit grading tool and then click and drag to select all of them and here we have to assign assign to the selected pattern as you can see it tells all the bezier curve of the pattern will be changed to the free to uh, grade size properly yeah okay and as you can see it changed everything is ready nothing changed just we assigned it here okay we are in a tool as you can see we are in an edit grading tool for example we want to begin from here you have to select point you have to do this um, work with uh, <coughs> point to point or edge to edge for example you can select the edge or we begin from from this point as you can see in the properties we have three uh, we have three uh, methods for changing the size. Here, the first thing here is the arrow key movement in a millimeter, 10 millimeter. If you select a point and click, for example, to the right, sorry. As you can see, if you select to the right or select to the up, any click, it move this point to the this point with a 10 millimeter this is size medium this is size large and this is size x large as you can see it's changed it automatically or then select this point and double click to 10 for example 20 millimeter as you can see we have to create it point by point and it's automatically symmetry there and as you can see for example we uh, change it to the down like this sorry it means i select not exactly point okay i have before this is default uh pattern of the cloud 3d and it has a lot of points and notch and everything you have to clean it to make it easier or uh, you can select the edges if you want or as you can see, I click arrow one, click arrow up, and it uh, moved the line 10 millimeter with the arrow movement, okay? <clears throat> you can control Z to turn back. This is the first, as you can see, all of this method are changed with the arrow key. Another, with the arrow key, uh, you can create a slide. Another thing that is a distance, you can enter exact distance. Before that, I have to explain X and Y axis. This is a positive Y axis. This is a negative, positive X, negative X. For example, our, our point is here and we want to move it here. We have to give a positive X and positive Y to uh, change it. It's very easy. For example, uh, this is a medium size of this point. Okay, we don't need that. As you can see, it's a gray. It means it's 
okay in this position if you want to as you can see we want to grading point for example in this area what does it mean in this area this is positive x and positive y we have to give two number to the large double click for example we need um, 50 millimeter uh, 50 millimeter here as you can see you can change it any number that you want or you can change it okay you can give exact number that this point moved at this point for x large we have double this number for example this this as you can see we can grading it any number that you want so in this method in a distance in a millimeter we give exact number to go point there for example and we can make it with the arrow again for example in this point <coughs> another method for this point as you can see if you click in in this point the number is here if you click at this point you have to set a number here in this point is offset uh, it's automatically offsetting everything for you 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 have no need to give an exact number you can tell it in all it's very easy it means in all medium to large large to x large give a unique number for example 20 and zero okay you know you know just we need a, a um, moving x axis positive x axis and do not want to uh, uh, move in a y axis and it's if you select an all it gives you all uh, distance from medium as you can see distance from medium to large and then the large to the x large with the exact number as you can see uh, this means the distance between medium and large is 20 millimeter and the large to x large is exactly 20 millimeter so we have three methods for creating uh, large x large and medium that's it and after that after you create it it's easy after that it's because of i use it's better that I use points also here. Yeah, it's better. Okay. In here, it's an interesting part happened here. Okay, you need to change the offline, for example, here. Just activate the large interest. As you can see, the pattern changed to the large. Then activate x large the pattern changed to the x large and at any time that you want you can move to the any size medium large or x large that you want it's very interesting and sometimes for example here if we have a curve as you can see if you have a curve you can use uh, edit curvature grading if you want to edit if you want to as you said before in a previous lessons we have a point a segment that you can select it or you can use the curve point that are red and uh, just for controlling the curve if you want to control the curve for example, if you want to, if you go into the main tool, just it's select the main uh, points that are separating the segments and the edges. And if you go to the edit curve grading, it means uh, all the red dot that are hidden and just for controlling the curve are be shown. And you can select them and use them on uh, for grading, as you can see, like before. There are actually like a point that you want it's very easy and that's it it's very easy so for grading we have to be patient and do it for point to point to point if you for example uh, you want to grading for the all you can select all uh, sorry 
select all the pointers or everything here and use offset for all of them in this case as you can see we have not good results because the software change as you can see the all change all point 20 neg positive 20 it means all the point from this position come to the this position and become like this for example this point go in this direction this point go exactly there. any point go to the this direction and it does not work correctly for us so we cannot do it with all points we you have to select first it's very important uh, activate the symmetry if you select it it's automatically go to the other side okay for doing that it's very easy you learn it before you have to select all of them right click and apply uh, symmetry with swimming and everything is done go into the tool again and it's here you can select it you have to select the size you can add any of them that you want click anywhere and do it your work so it's very important go into the tool select the size group and then work hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.